Who is the GOAT in football? If you go by social media, there's probably only one answer. The proud and defiant Cristiano Ronaldo. The real world may have dealt Ronaldo many bitter moments, but in the virtual world, he's simply the unrivaled king. In a recent global poll conducted by World Football to find football's GOAT, Cristiano Ronaldo triumphed over all to claim the title. The person he defeated in the final was none other than Lionel Messi, with a close vote, 52% for Ronaldo and 48% for Messi. At 39 years old, Ronaldo still leaves everyone in the dust with his massive appeal on social media. The journey to the final of the World Football Poll began with Robert Lewandowski. Unsurprisingly, Ronaldo easily beat the Polish striker to advance to the next round. This time, his opponent was Thierry Henry, who had won his previous match against Xavi. Once again, Ronaldo demonstrated his enormous fan base by defeating Henry. The final showdown between the two greatest rivals, Ronaldo and Messi. Messi had beaten both Kylian Mbappe and Neymar in the previous rounds to reach the final. The tension felt like a Ballon d'Or race, with Ronaldo and Messi once again competing neck and neck. In the end, Ronaldo edged Messi with 52% of the fan votes, just 4% more than Messi, securing his victory in World Football's quote poll. Nearly three years have passed since Messi won the World Cup, and during this time, Ronaldo seems to have plummeted from the heights he once shared with Messi in the eyes of many. The victory in the recent World Football Poll may offer Ronaldo some solace, as at least he can still take pride in his enormous social media following. Compared to Messi, Ronaldo is not as beloved by the media and football experts, but when this battle shifts to social media, where billions of fans reside, Ronaldo truly has no equal. The harsh reality for Ronaldo is that since leaving Manchester United, he has yet to win any titles, while Messi has collected two trophies in the United States. However, Ronaldo finds joy in online battles, where whether people support or criticize him, he remains the undisputed number one. His fans are vocal, and even his detractors never miss an opportunity to comment, further amplifying the CR7 brand's appeal. This dominance is reflected in the explosive growth of his YouTube channel, Cristiano. Ronaldo's journey as a YouTuber took only one month to build a YouTube empire that many strive a lifetime for. Besides being the GOAT of social media, Ronaldo is also hailed as the YouTube king of all time by his fans, with over 64.4 million subscribers and growing. Perhaps due to image rights contracts with various famous clubs, Ronaldo didn't join YouTube earlier. His YouTube channel was created when he was at his peak with Manchester United and Real Madrid. By now, the number of followers has grown massively. The content on the Cristiano channel mainly revolves around outdoor activities, family trips, heartfelt podcasts, and discussions about love with his girlfriend, Georgina Rodriguez. Ronaldo's influence on social media was most clearly seen through his transfer to Al Nasser. Before Ronaldo joined the Saudi Arabian club, their official Instagram had only 800,000 followers. Now that number has risen to 27 million, a 27-fold increase. A single photo of Ronaldo holding his new team's jersey garnered 34.6 million likes from fans. On Instagram, Ronaldo remains the most followed person in the world, with 639 million followers, completely overshadowing the competition. The second most followed person is Lionel Messi, with over 500 million followers, 100 million less than Ronaldo. Next in line is singer Selena Gomez, with 424 million followers. Cristiano Ronaldo's CR7, immense popularity compared to the rest of the sports world is underscored by some stunning statistics. On Instagram, Ronaldo has more followers than all the 2024 NBA All-Stars combined, including LeBron James, the leader with 159 million followers. Currently, Ronaldo has over 630 million followers on the platform, and he can earn up to $3.43 million per post which is $500,000 more than Lionel Messi and far ahead of many other celebrities like Kylie Jenner, 
Selena Gomez, and LeBron James. What's remarkable is that Ronaldo's earnings from Instagram have steadily increased year by year. In 2019, he made $755,000 per post, and now that number has doubled. At age 39, Ronaldo is entering his third season with Al Nasser, where he signed a contract with a salary of $215 million per year. In 2023, he also earned $60 million from endorsement deals, bringing his total income for the year to $275 million. As of the beginning of this year, Ronaldo's total earnings had reached $1.92 billion, making him the third highest earning athlete in history, behind only Michael Jordan and Tiger Woods. Ronaldo is expected to surpass $2 billion by the end of this year, becoming one of only three athletes to achieve this milestone. Ronaldo often collaborates with brands in the sports, health, finance, and investment sectors. A notable example of his influence was when he refused to drink Coca-Cola during a press conference at Euro 2020. Ronaldo moved two bottles of Coca-Cola out of sight, placed a bottle of water in front of the reporters, and said, drink water. This action caused Coca-Cola's market value to drop by billions of dollars. One fan expressed their admiration, saying that at 39 years old, Ronaldo continues to give his all to football, abstaining from alcohol, avoiding tattoos, and regularly donating blood. This explains why he remains the most followed footballer in the world. Another fan believes Ronaldo's talent, determination, and strong personality are what make people admire him. While he may not appear as friendly or humble as Messi, with one billion followers on social media, Ronaldo proves that his value is always recognized. Ronaldo deserves to be considered one of the greatest players in football history, possessing everything a man could wish for, talent, fame, and a remarkable career. He has won the Ballon d'Or five times, is the all-time leading scorer in the history of the Champions League, the Euros, Real Madrid, and the Portuguese national team. However, Ronaldo's life has also faced its share of prejudice and criticism. Ronaldo once said, they hate me because I'm too good. Perhaps he's too good, has too much fame and fortune. Or maybe it's simply his sharp looks and strong personality that lead people to judge him harshly. Whether you love or hate him, Ronaldo has made football more exciting than ever. His fierce rivalry with Messi's humility creates a dramatic contrast, making their competition an endless and captivating story.